So <laughs> again, just very quickly, you know, just uh, some of the thoughts that have run through my mind in the last few days, figured I'd share them, kind of talk through them, right? What you will not ever see is me um, perform like you see the majority, right? You see them create their video presentations and uh, and their live streams and and you know they have these uh, um, practiced and perfected methods that they use in order to be able to increase their platform. You know, they'll, they'll say, come in, come in, come in. You know, let's, let's get seated, let's get ready. Don't forget to like, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. They, 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 they use this machine to build a platform um, to support themselves, yeah? And I understand that. I understand supporting yourself using the uh, the vehicle, using the message that you have. Um, I don't I don't have a problem with that per se. The problem that I have is that they don't um, actually uh, offer any solutions, right? It's not really it. You know they they there's a lot of looking at what's in the media and then coming and speaking to you and giving opinions and sharing perspective and exposing things and, and all of this, all of this conscious stuff, right? All this conscious stuff. I'm not gonna do that. I don't do that. I'm not going to uh, engage in conversation that is not organic thought, right? I'm not going to focus on the media and what happens in the world and what this one said and that what that that's some sophomoric high school bullshit that we should have abandoned long ago but it is now the most common method of communication at the highest levels of your country's government that he said she said they said he said when did they say all that high school bullshit that doesn't actually do anything it's just you know, like I said, words words were developed for nefarious reasons. They were designed so that I could tell your eyes and mind something that wasn't true. I could create misdirection using words. Um, and so that's what they're used for. So that's, people are just throwing them around, right? So I don't, I'm not going to spend no time trying to build a platform or trying to and get likes. I have a job. I don't need likes. I don't need to be monetized by YouTube. I don't need the. I don't need your platforms. I don't need none of that. I'm not. That's not. Nah. What I'm trying to do is trying to inspire mind to think more critically and more analytically for themselves. So I'm not going to engage in conversation about what's happening in the news today and what Cardi B said and what this one said. I'm not going to do that. That's, I'll leave that to them. That's trying to make a living on this. Okay. I'll leave that to them. What I will say and what this short conversation about is about is what if they're not supreme? What if they're not supreme? So I put this into text and people lost their minds. People came and hey, <laughs> they called me, you know, uh, they, they came and called me names. You, you, you think so little of us huh? to say that they're supreme. You think uh, you, you, you should have seen uh, how far it went you know, from my inquiry of what if they're not supreme? So I don't think that people were able to actually think it through and perhaps it is as a result of the limitations associated with text and reading it in, uh, in a, um, a 
on a forum like Facebook, maybe it was hard to comprehend or digest in that format. So I'll talk it through a little bit. Okay, let's talk it through. What if they're not supreme? What that means to me is, what if it's not acceptable for any human on the planet Earth now or ever to try to build a more perfect union on the bones of a hundred million innocent natives that owned this land, that lived on this land? What if they're not supreme? What if that's not okay, right? To build, to murder a hundred million human beings to produce your more perfect union on their land and using their bones. What if that's not okay? What if the breeding of every single 13 year old girl for 300 years and until that 13 year old girl could no longer bear children, until she could no longer reproduce, she was bred. And this occurred for 300 years, not skipping one single innocent baby. And this was done in the name of producing an economy that was solvent enough to allow for every poor, tired, huddled mass of immigrants to come from wherever they came with nothing but shirts on their backs and find opportunity in North America. Now, what happens is these immigrants have gotten here and they'll say, my family didn't get anything. They didn't have any slaves. They were, they were sharecroppers and they didn't, they didn't benefit from that. But the economy that allowed their parents to come here didn't come from magic economy beans. It came from the labor of innocent human beings that from birth until death were labored in order to create your more perfect union. What if white people aren't supreme? What if you can't do that. What if you can't murder a hundred million people and breed hundreds of millions more and enslave them from birth till death and treat them in atrocious manner? What if a human being cannot breed humans, rape them, castrate them? What if they can't embrace apathy and hatred and disconnection and pass those down from father to son, father to son, mother to daughter, mother to daughter for 20 generations. What if a human couldn't do that and not be indelibly impacted by the embracing of that cancer. What if a human couldn't do that? What if they're not supreme? Hmm? What if they are measured and at the mercy of the same universal laws that every other living thing is? What if cause and effect also impacts white people? Hmm? What if cause and effect also impacts white people too, right? And so there has been no consequence associated with a hundred million innocent human beings murdered and their land stolen. There's been no consequence. There has been no consequence associated with enslaving, with the trafficking of humans from their home into America, changing their names, changing their language, changing their belief system, twisting them up for 300 years. There's been no consequence. So my question to you is, do you think they're supreme? Do you think 
that somebody could do this and build a perfect union, right? Do you think that this, this is the foundations of a perfect union for us? Do you think it's a, the foundations of a perfect union for them? Do you think anybody could live a life pimping women, raping women their whole lives and enjoy a fruitful life? Do you think that is a, uh, a wholesome foundation upon which you would build and predicate a more perfect union? Do you think that they are supreme? Do you think that anybody could do that? Is it just the white people? Did you think that it, because it was white people that them black folk didn't matter, right? Then that 300 years, that 400 years didn't matter. Them 100 million Native Americans, that didn't matter. There ain't no consequences because they're white. Is that what you think? Because they're, they're white, there's no consequences. So then when you look around in this society today and you see their crumbling political system and you see their crumbling economic system, and you see their crumbling social system, and you see their crumbling infrastructure, you see their crumbling healthcare system, you see their crumbling bridges and roads, you see everything that they produced based on a crime is eroding and crumbling. But in our minds, we believe they're supreme. They can survive this. Nothing can take white people off. They will always be there. This is what we believe. No, we don't believe that? Okay, let's look at it from another angle. The question was, are they supreme, right? No, I'm sorry, the question was, what if they're not supreme, right? Okay, so let's look at this from another angle. The every essential need that a human has to live for 72 hours. Who controls them today? In America, who controls the essential needs that every single human being has in order to survive 72 hours? Who controls that? Hmm? Who controls the food, the clothing, the shelter, the water, the health care, the security, the sanitation, the education, the utilities? Who controls that? Okay. So, on the one hand, you're watching every system that they've ever produced crumbling. On the other hand, you're dependent upon them for every essential need that you have in order to survive. Your children cannot survive 72 hours without food, clothing, shelter, water, healthcare, security, sanitation, right? Can't survive 72 hours. So let's revisit the question. What if they are not supreme? And you're in a condition where every essential need that you have is produced and controlled by them, right? And so what do we do, huh? Where are we? Hmm? So we're watching, we've watched 400, 500 years of atrocity, not skipping one single 60 second interval in 500 years has it failed to be atrocity on this continent to every black, red, brown, yellow man that has ever dared to step foot here. Not one 60 second interval. Has this country failed to embrace hatred, disconnection, and atrocity? Not for one 60 second interval. So we stand here and we see this and we know these things to be true. And still 
right now on 10-1-2020 at 10.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are confident that tomorrow morning we're going to wake up, we're going to have our coffee, because our utilities are there, of course. We're going to go to our jobs, because his economy, of course, will always be there. We're going to contemplate our political uh, choices because, of course, his political system will always be there because he's almighty whitey, right? He, there's no way in the world, there is no way in the world that the essential needs that you have to live on will not be there because this white man is infallible, right? Right? He's infallible. It's impossible for him to fall off. It is impossible for your water to be a problem because it's always there, right? The white man is always going to be there. Huh? So we don't have to take a hand in trying to produce our own water. We don't have to take a hand in worrying about trying to produce our own food. We don't have to take a hand in trying to worry about producing our own power, our own sanitation, our own housing. We don't have to worry about doing any of those things because Massa got them for us, right? Massa got a, his ice is colder than our ice. What do you mean? Why would I do these things for myself since I have a supreme being doing them for me? Hmm? Yeah, so I'm just going to close that just like that. And I'm going to ask that question again. What if he's not supreme? Now what? Now what? You, your, your plan is what? To slowly unite the people but while you're doing that, you're, you're hoping that Massa keeps feeding you. You're hoping that Massa, you just trust that. You, you can count on that, can you? That he's going to have your water supply clean and available for you, right? He's going to have your food right there for you, right? Everything that you need, you can count on it, right? You're going to spend your time galvanizing and uniting and doing these things, but you're going to count on your master's house standing in order for your plans to come to fruition. So what does that mean? That means that we are put into the position of a house Negro, right? Because we have to hope that our master's house stands in order for our plans to come into fruition, in order for the things that we're working to bring into life to happen. Massa still got to be in place. We still got to be in power. We're counting on white supremacy. We're counting on it. We're predicating our goals and our dreams and our ideas and our plans and absolutely everything on the idea that this is infallible, that this is a more perfect union, that these people are supreme and they will always be there. So we don't have to worry about food clothing, shelter, water, healthcare, security, sanitation, utilities. Why? Why bother our minds with that? What we should be thinking about and really trying to determine is whether or not Popeye's chicken is better than Chick-fil-A. That's what we should be focused on. Cardi B, entanglements. This is, this is the stuff black folk are capable of, right? The, we, we, we were only capable of that low level thinking. We can't think through the methods and the instruments of our own dependence. We don't know what a need is versus a want. We can't figure that out, right? We're, we're surface. We, we can't think levels below. We can't think levels deep, right? We can only think on the surface, yeah? So the first thing that you want to say is, why people are, they're not supreme. Yeah, your life doesn't prove that. Your life is a contradiction 
to your saying that they're not supreme because you count on them. So no matter what your words say, what do your actions say? What does your dreams say? What does your subconscious say? Everything in your fiber counts on their being supreme, except your mouth saying something else because it's popular in the news today. <sighs> yeah, I ain't got no time for, you know, <laughs> debating and picking out a better master to save me. I ain't got no time for that, right? Only thing I'm gonna do is share with you original thought. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Light is provided through sparks of energy from the mind that travels in rhyme form, right? Hopefully, the light can be sparked. If not, yo, break rocks. <laughs>